Hi everyone, this video is an updated version of my previous coding on Chromebook with C Sharp video. It's meant to get you up and running so you can start coding C Sharp on your Chromebook. So in this video, I will show you how to install Visual Studio Code and set it up for C Sharp coding. What you'll need to get this working is Linux installed on your Chromebook. If you don't have Linux installed, check out my video showing you how to do this. I'll provide a link in the description. I'm also going through this process using a Chromebook with an Intel processor. If you have a Chromebook with an ARM processor, then these instructions might not work. Unfortunately, I don't own an ARM Chromebook, so I can't confirm if this works for them. To find out what kind of Chromebook you have, bring up a terminal window, then type LSCPU. Some info will come up. In the architecture section, if it says x86 underscore 64, then you have an Intel Chromebook. Otherwise, you have an ARM Chromebook. Let's now get on with setting up C Sharp. First, let's install Visual Studio Code. Open a web browser and type code.visualstudio.com forward slash download. Here, you want to click on the .deb download. But if you have an ARM Chromebook, you want to download the ARM64 link that's listed here. For me, I'll just click on the main.deb link to download. The download will soon start and you will see the progress on the bottom right. When the download is done, click on the show in folder text to open the downloads folder. On the downloaded file, right click it and select install with Linux beta. Click the install button again and the installation of Visual Studio Code will begin. The progress of the install will be at the bottom right. When the installation is done, Visual Studio Code will be in your app launcher like it is here. Click on it to run it. And here we have Visual Studio Code open. Now it's time to install the C Sharp extension. To do this, click on View, Extensions. On the search box that appears on the left, type C Sharp. Click the Install button on the result with Microsoft as the publisher. The extension will start installing and when it's done, you will see an uninstall button here. Okay, so we have Visual Studio with a C-Sharp extension installed. The next step is to install .NET Core. Do this by clicking on the .NET Core link that's listed here. On the pop-up that comes up, click on Open. A web browser window will open with a .NET page. Click on the download link. On the next page, click on the install.net button. We get another page. Scroll down until you reach the Debian section. Under that section, you want to click on the Debian version 10 link. You get another page. Here, you want to copy and paste some commands into a Linux terminal. First, click the copy button on this table. You will see it turn into a green checkbox. Now, open up a Linux terminal and paste what you copied. You can just click on the right mouse button to automatically paste. Multiple lines will be pasted. Just hit enter after pasting. After the commands you pasted are finished executing, go back to the browser and copy and paste and execute the text on the next table. Wait for those commands to finish executing. When it's done, test the installation by typing .NET space dash dash version. If you see a version number, then everything was installed correctly. The next step now is to create a C Sharp project. Let's first create a console project. I'll later also show you how to create C Sharp web projects. I'm first going to open the files app and create a folder where I'm going to store my C Sharp projects. This folder has to be in the Linux files area. You can create whatever folder you want and name it whatever you want in that area. It does not have to be the same as mine. When you finish creating the folder, right click on it, then click on open with and click on open with terminal. This will bring up a terminal window that's in the folder you created. Let's now create a C-sharp project called hello world. To do that, type .NET new console space dash o 
Hello world. Wait for the project to be created. When it's done, type LS and enter, and you will see a hello world folder that has been created. Go into that folder by typing CD space hello world. Then to open the hello world project we created, type code space dot. Visual Studio Code will now open the project we created. At this time, if you look at the bottom of the window, you will see that Visual Studio Code is installing dependencies. Wait for this to finish. If you see a pop-up at the bottom saying required assets to build and debug are missing, click on its yes button. When the dependencies are done installing, double click on the program.cs file that's on the file browser to the left. We see that a sample hello world program has already been created. We want to run this program to test C sharp. To run it, click on run. Then click on run without debugging. On the bottom of the screen, you will see that the program is building and then running. And we see some hello world text. This confirms that C sharp is working. Now let's create a C sharp MVC website. Open up the files program and find the folder you created to store your C-sharp projects. Right click on it and click on open with terminal. Now type .NET new MVC dash O hello world web. Wait for the project to be created. When it's done creating, type CD Hello World Web. Then type code space dot to open the web project. Click yes on the pop-up for the required assets. To run this project, click on run, then click run without debugging. A web server will start running. At the bottom, you will see a lot of text appearing. Among that text, there's going to be some links. Here we see a link saying localhost colon 5001 and another saying localhost colon 5000. You can open either of these by holding down the control key and clicking with your mouse. A web browser will appear. On the browser window, click on advanced, then click on proceed to localhost. Ignore the unsafe text because this is your own web server you are running and not a web server from an unknown source. A website will appear. This website is the project we created. You can see the name of the project toward the top left. Now you can go back to Visual Studio Code and start editing the project. You may want to create a different project than the ones I showed you. To get a list of all the possible projects you can create, type this into a terminal window net new dash l you will get a table with all the project types you want to make note of the short name column look for the project you want to create and look at its short name once you have the short name of the project type net new the short name dash o and the project name where short name is the short name of the project and project name is the name you want to give the project for example if I want to create an empty website, I'll look for the empty website project, which is ASP.NET Core Empty. For its short name, we see that it is web. So to create this project, I would type .NET New Web O Lose Empty Web Project. And we are now ready to create our own C Sharp projects. Are you using your Chromebook to code on it? If so, let me know in the comments. Anyway, if you found this video helpful, please give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll speak to you next time.